Hey, guess what? There's some news happening in Pokemon Go. Ralts Community Day has been announced for August 3rd. I'm super excited to tell you guys about it because I will be in Tokyo, Japan, headed to Yokohama Go Fest. But I'm going early because I planned ahead. We knew that August 3rd Community Day was coming out. We didn't know what it was going to be. But now that we know it's going to be Ralts, it's time to get hyped because this community day, 4 to 7 p.m., unfortunately, it is going to be 4 to 7 p.m. I know a lot of you guys don't like the 4 to 7 p.m., including myself. It's just too late in the day. I think we noticed with Mudkip Community Day, people started getting really tired around 6 p.m., and then eh, we just kind of didn't care in that last hour. But hopefully this community day, Ralts is gonna get you guys out there. You're gonna get pumped, gonna get excited. If you guys check it out, I already shiny checked everything right here. There's nothing shiny. But if you go into the news section right here, you can see that Ralts Community Day is here for August, 4 to 7 p.m., August 3rd. Ralts is going to appear more frequently in the wild. Lure modules are going to last three hours as usual. Shiny Ralts will be introduced. And if you evolve Curlia into either Gardevoir or Gallade, it will get an exclusive move. Make sure you save up a good one so that you have a good Ralts to evolve into Curlia, into either Gallade or Gardevoir this Community Day. I know that I myself am going to be walking my Gardevoir. Check out my buddy Pokemon. Right now, I'm walking my Gardevoir because I need to stack up more candies. Make sure that you start walking either a Curlia, Ralts, or a Gallade, or a Gardevoir right now. They will all get you some Ralts candy. So let's see what else is happening in the news. Have you guys already found your shiny One Piece Pikachu? You only have a limited amount of time to get your shiny One Piece Pikachu. And yes, it can be shiny, but we only have until July 22nd to July 29th, only until the end of this month to get your shiny One Piece Pikachu. Make sure you get out there and try to get hunting for that thing because they do seem to be extremely rare, very much like the HF Hat Pikachu. So once again, this Straw Hat Pikachu is only available until July 29th, but that's not the only thing that's going away at the end of July. You can only get Armored Mewtwo until July 31st. So make sure that you guys have your Armored Mewtwo, have your Straw Hat Pikachus by the end of this month and get hyped for August Community Day this August 3rd. But there's even more stuff happening in Pokemon Go. I'm sure you guys have been hearing about the Team Rocket Invasion and Shadow Pokemon. Let me tell you what I found out so far. So everyone, we're back in my house because we have some new developing news about Team Go Rocket. So I'm gonna get into all the news about Team Go Rocket, but also because it's way too hot in Las Vegas right now. It's over 100 degrees, and for those of you who use Celsius, it's about 40 degrees Celsius outside. So let's stay inside, stay cool, and let me tell you about Team Rocket. But before we do that, I want to show you Ueno. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It could be Ueno. It's U-E-N-O. Onchi Park in Japan. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the name, guys, but if you want to come out to August 3rd, Ralts Community Day with me, Yuri, who's from Yuri Games, the cruise ship, or Tom Cruise, Super Trainer Sakura, Glenn of Secret League, and I'm sure he's gonna be bringing his Secret League merch. You can buy Secret League hats and pins, especially Pokemon Master Holly hats and pins, and a couple of other really amazing people like JT Valor and so many more people. If you wanna come see us on August 3rd Community Day in Japan, we will be in Tokyo. Come out to this park, Ueno Park, and we'll be there from 4 to 7 p.m. Look for this statue. That's where we're gonna meet at as our meeting point. So we'll see you guys there. But now let's switch back over to Pokemon Go. Oh, I'm hatching an egg. Let's actually hatch an egg. So an announcement came out this morning for Team Go Rocket and it's a Pichu. And there is now a new event happening in Pokemon Go for Team Rocket. Let's see if I have another egg. I do have another egg. Smoochum! I already have that shiny. Let me know in the comment section below. Were you lucky enough to get shiny Smoochum or do you have that? Do you have all the shiny babies? I still need a shiny Magby and shiny... That's not shiny yet, but that's cute. Hey, look at that. Me and DX1 are now ultra friends. <laughs> Shout out to DX1. How are you doing, DX1? Let me know in the comment section below if you've seen this video, DX1. That's awesome. Let's hatch another egg. Maybe this one will be shiny. Sandshrew. I still need that shiny too. Pichu again. I have shiny Pichu already, thankfully. Okay, that's it for my eggs. But you can see that down in the bottom right hand corner, Professor Willow is blinking. He's trying to get your attention because we have brand new special research available in Pokemon Go. But I'm also going to go to the news section first. And you can see that the new news is out. Team Go Rocket invades Pokemon Go. So let's take a look at it. The world of Pokemon Go is in peril. We have an event starting right now. So we're going to go into all the details of what they're talking about, but also I wanna show you guys the special research down here with Professor Willow. So let's click on that. 
Let's see what he has to say. He said he's noticed an alarming number of reports from trainers who have found Pokestops that look discolored. Some trainers have even spotted people wearing shirts with a big letter R on them who are guarding these Pokestops. These shady characters appear to have Pokemon with a mysterious dark aura around them. As I investigate this with Spark, it might be best to power up some of your Pokemon. You never know what you might encounter. So let's see what we first have to do for Professor Willow. A troubling situation. We need to evolve two Pokemon and power up a Pokemon five times. Okay, everyone, I've evolved my Pokemon. I've powered up a Pokemon five times. I decided to power up some PvP relevant Pokemon like Quagsire that I didn't have maxed out at 1500 yet. So let's claim these rewards and see what they are. It's a Murkrow, which could be shiny. So let's capture him up. That's pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section below, do you have shiny Murkrow yet? Kind of cool. I guess they picked just a dark Pokemon to represent Team Rocket. That's pretty cool. Let's see what number two is. Here's our second encounter. Let's see what this is. It's a Sableye, which also could be shiny. So another kind of just like creepy Pokemon Team Rocket representation. Kind of cool. All right, let's see what our rewards were. So because the rewards are XP and Stardust, I put on a Lucky Egg, I've put on a Star Piece. So now when we go down here, we can claim our rewards. Two batches of 1,000 XP, so that's 2,000 XP and 1,000 Stardust. So claim these rewards. Awesome, claiming it. And let's see what our next thing that we need to do is. Great job strengthening your Pokemon. After visiting one of the Pokestops with Spark, we were challenged to a trainer battle by someone who belongs to an organization called Team Go Rocket. Turns out that Team Go Rocket has been stealing resources from Pokestops with the help of Pokemon that are cloaked in dark aura. They're called Shadow Pokemon. Luckily, we won the battle and afterward, Team, Ro Team Go Rocket carelessly abandoned their defeated Shadow Pokemon. Help us protect local Pokestops from Team Go Rocket trainer. As you do so, please save any Shadow Pokemon that Team Go Rocket abandons. So now we need to catch two Shadow Pokemon and defeat three Go Rocket grunts. So now I get to tell you guys how to find a Team Rocket Pokestop. Check out this video right here. You can see that the Pokestop is discolored at first. The cube at the top is kind of shaky. It's kind of look like it's rattling. It's kind of a darker blue color. And then as you get closer to it, the R for Team Rocket appears over top and it turns into the black Pokestop that's obviously Team Rocket. And there should be an NPC that probably appears there too. So this makes you keep your eyes out guys. Also, we know some information from Pokemon Go Hub about how frequently these Pokestops appear. So let's head over to Pokemon Go Hub. Here we are on PokemonGoHub.net. If you want the link to this article, I'll leave it in the description box. Team Rocket Invasions, everything you need to know. So I learned from reading this article that Team Rocket battles, they're going to be three versus three. And they're usually monotype, so that means they're gonna usually have all water type, all normal type, all fire type, something like that. Three versus three. And of course, it's really fun because now that PvP has the new mini games mechanic while you're battling someone, it's gonna be really exciting. You're not just tapping, you're actually like taking advantage of the new fun little games that PvP has in store. So get out there to find these Team Rocket battles. But what are we even looking for? Like I said, you're looking for that discolored Pokestop. And what we've learned is that they appear every 30 minutes. They have a hidden 30 minute timer. So if you find a Team Rocket Pokestop, you need to tell your friends that that Pokestop is there because they will also be able to see that same Pokestop under Team Rocket for about 30 minutes or so, depending on what time you found it. So for example, you have to think of a Team Rocket Pokestop kind of like you think about raids. When you see a raid, you can see it in the distance on the map. You can see it and all of your friends can also see it. You can only battle it one time and then after you've successfully finished the battle, the raid is gone from that and you can't battle it again. Team Rocket Pokestops are very similar. They're on the map so that everybody can see them for 30 minutes. Of course, that timer is hidden, so make sure when you do find a Team Rocket Pokestop that you go immediately battle it and tell your friends as well so they can battle it too. And then after you've defeated it, it will go back to normal. Of course, if you don't defeat it, just like in the same way if you do not defeat a raid boss, it's still there for you to be able to battle it until you defeat it. And once you defeat the Team Rocket Grunt, that is when you'll be able to capture their shadow Pokemon. And there's only gonna be one shadow Pokemon that you could capture from that encounter. And here at Pokemon Go Hub, it tells you the list of Pokemon that are available. You could get in shadow form 
Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Zubat, Rattata, and Snorlax. Obviously, I personally think Snorlax is the coolest one. Let me know in the comment section below, out of these first six Pokemon, which ones are the ones that you are the most so happy about that they're shadow and that you can purify them. And I'm going to tell you guys about purifying Pokemon as well. Some other things to note about these Team Rocket battles is that you should have some revives and some potions with you after the battle because unlike other PvP battles, once you've battled a Team Rocket Grunt, the damage that they do to your Pokemon will be on the Pokemon even after the battle's over. So you need to heal them, you need to revive them if they fainted. So this is just like a real life battle, just like in the main series games, after you've battled a trainer, you're going to have to heal your Pokemon. So get those revives and potions ready. Also, after the battle's over, you're going to get 500 Stardust for completing the battle against the Team Rocket Grunt. So maybe before you encounter the Pokestop and you start engaging in the battle, you might want to put a star piece on to get that little boost of extra Stardust. Also, after defeating the Team Rocket Grunt, when you're going to the capture stage for the Shadow Pokemon, you're going to be given Premier Balls to capture this Pokemon. So don't worry, you don't need to show up to the battle with Pokeball you're going to be given Premier Balls, just like in a raid battle. Not only is the number of Premier Balls that you get to capture a Shadow Pokemon determined by how many Pokemon of yours you kept alive, but also you now have two new badges that will also determine how many Premier Balls you get. The two new badges are Hero, and in order to get the badge up, you need to defeat Team Rocket Go Grunts. To get the Bronze Medal, you need to defeat 10 Grunts, Silver, 100 Grunts, and Gold is 1,000. The other new badge is called Purifier, and it, that will be determined by how many Pokemon that are Shadow Pokemon that you've purified. You only need to purify 5 Pokemon to get the Bronze Medal, 50 purified Pokemon to get Silver, and 500 purified Pokemon to get Gold. And like I said, the higher that you have these badges, whether they're Silver or Gold, they'll get more Premier Balls in the Shadow Pokemon encounter. Shadow Pokemon have a fixed charge move called Frustration. According to Pokemon Go Hub, it's a total trash move. It's no good, but maybe you want to keep the Shadow Pokemon just because it looks cool, but purifying your Pokemon seems to be the way to go because you're going to make them stronger and they're going to gain another charge move and they're going to get rid of Frustration. Once you've caught a Shadow Pokemon, there's going to be a button kind of like where the power up or evolve button is that says purify. It's going to cost you stardust and candy in order to purify these Pokemon. But once you have, they're going to get a stat increase. They're going to get plus two to every IV, attack, defense, and HP. Also, once you purify them, like I said, you're going to replace the move of frustration with a new charge move called return. And that's going to be much stronger than frustration. Also, purified Pokemon cost 90% stardust to power up. So that way you're getting a discount to power up these Pokemon that have the better stats. So there's lots of reasons why you would want to purify a Pokemon. They're stronger, they cost less to power up, and they also still look cool because they have like a white shining aura around them. For those of you who are collectors out there who try to complete the Pokedex, and especially those of you who are trying to complete the lucky Pokedex, it should also be noted that there is a purified counter now added to the Pokedex. So for those of you who are trying to get all purified Pokemon into your Pokedex, you can now start out by trying to purify these six that are out right now. The three starters, Rattata, Snorlax, and Zubat. So hopefully you guys can get those purified. And also it should be noted that purified Pokemon, once you evolve them, the counter for that in your Pokedex won't go up. So for example, if you evolve the Rattata into Eradicate and you, pur and you have purified it, that Raticate will not count as a purified Pokemon in your Pokedex for that counter. You have to capture the Pokemon as a Shadow Pokemon and then purify it for it to count in your Pokedex. Before we move on to finishing talking about the special research, I just want to remind you guys that now after this update starting today, you cannot trade Shadow Pokemon. Prior to today, you actually were able to trade Shadow Pokemon and they could also become lucky, so that means they were going to be lucky purified Pokemon, but people were uh, abusing that and getting all 100%, so now it's change that you cannot trade shadow Pokemon. So just try to get the best IVs that you can by purify them. You could get a 100%. But let's dive into the special research that I just started with you guys and see thanks to Leak Duck for putting this graphic together. And if you guys want the link to this, the link will be in the description box. But I'm on step two right now, which is catch two shadow Pokemon and defeat three team go rocket grunts the prizes could be ekans and coughing and they could be shiny shiny ekans and shiny coughing are now introduced into pokemon go thanks to this team go rocket invasion so get out there and try to get shiny ekans and shiny coughing which of course you could find in the wild now too and the re rewards are 2000 stardust 2000 xp and five golden raspberries so make sure when you claim these rewards that you have a lucky egg and a star piece on when you move on to step three, it's going to say purify three shadow Pokemon 
And then purify a fire, water, or grass type Pokemon. So either Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur are the ones that you're looking for. You're going to get 3,000 Stardust and 3,000 XP. And then the major rewards are going to be 2,000 Stardust, a five Silver Pineapple Berries, and one Rare Candy. And then finally, on the fourth step, you're going to just check off everything because they're just going to be XP boxes. You're just going to click already complete, already complete, already complete. You're going to get 1,000 Stardust, 1,000 XP, and another gift of 1,000 Stardust. And then the final rewards will be a Charge TM, a Fast TM, and three Rare Candies. So once again, thanks to Leak Duck for putting that graphic together so quickly so that I could tell you guys all that goodness. So like I said, this Team Go Rocket Invasion is an event that's starting right now on the 25th. It's already started and it will go until August 1st at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So you guys have a little less than a week to get out there and try to get increased spawns of shiny Ekans and Shiny Coughing. Also, the Egg Pool has a shakeup. Rattata, Ekans, Houndour, and Meowth are now hatching more frequently from eggs. So like I said, if you're really hunting for those Ekans and Coughing Shinies, hopefully you can hatch them out of an egg. So guys, I'm gonna head out right now to find my own Team Go Rocket battles. Wish me luck, I'm gonna try to duke it out best I can. Make sure you guys subscribe so that way you can see the video that I make with my battles. Smash the like button on this video if you like the information that I'm putting out. But I'm going to go now to go make some battles. Wish me luck. And let me know in the comment section below which shiny are you the most hype about. Ekans or coughing? Let me know in the comment section. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. See you then.